First and second year students study and reside at the Richmond Hill campus. The main building houses science labs, student residences, classrooms, several computer labs and dining facilities, in addition to several student recreation areas. Next door, the Taylor Library provides lecture halls, seminar rooms, study areas, a Starbucks cafe and computer facilities, as well as a multi-level library. The campus's splendid six-acre site is just a short walk from the 2,500 acres of Richmond Park, Europe's largest urban park. Richmond's vibrant town center also offers stunning riverside views, as well as high-quality shops, restaurants, and bars, catering to all students' needs. Coming here was kind of like good people around you, good teachers, and just kind of a close atmosphere where everybody kind of knows each other, but you still have your own space. The building itself takes on a persona of not just campus, not just where I live, but it almost becomes home. So it, it takes on that different feeling than just um, you know some building built specifically for the purpose of housing students 20 years ago made out of concrete and steel. Um, so that the personality really makes it unique. Third, fourth year in graduate study at the Kensington campus in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Its buildings house a library, cafeteria, student residences, classrooms, and art studios. The Center for New Media features high-spec Apple Mac computers, a video studio with edit suites, and photography studios with darkrooms. Just around the corner is Kensington High Street, which has a lively mix of shops, pubs, restaurants, and movie theaters. Once you're sort of in your third year, you want to explore more, you want to see more of London. It's more of a city feel, it's faster paced, it's a lot more independent. Definitely the biggest thing is being so close to everything, because we're in zone one, so you can literally walk into central London if you really want to, it's right on your doorstep. London is a vibrant, multicultural city, and each course utilizes it to the full. The city itself can be used as a learning laboratory in subject areas ranging from politics and business to the arts and communication. We try to take as much advantage of London, in fact, we use London almost as our classroom uh, in a sense of taking students to art galleries, to exhibitions, to parliament, uh, to meet politicians, to be out there uh, and learn. Because learning nowadays, it's not only in the classrooms and reading textbooks, it's also to learn to live in the world. And London is a perfect place for that because it's a global city.